Good afternoon. It's Tracy from the Creator's Loft. Today we're going to paint what is called Rekka Ring. It's something I've wanted to try. I've seen it online and I just have to try it. So what are you going to need for this uh, painting? Now you can do this very inexpensively. You can get canvases from the dollar store. This is a 12 by 12. This did not come from the dollar store. This came from Michael's. But if you can't afford to go to Michael's, just go to the dollar store. They have a huge craft aisle. Today we're going to be using all, well I shouldn't say all, the white is regular house paint. But the rest of the paint that I'm using is all from the dollar store. It's Acrology. See it? So we've got lime green. We've got a deep brown. And you just want to use the acrylics. Don't buy the tempera because that doesn't work as well. We have a purple. Pretty color purple. Uh, orange, they call this, well, they call this deep yellow, but it kind of looks orange to me because here's the yellow, right? Looks orange. And here's our house paint, again, in our bottle. Okay. So what I've done is I've pre-mixed the paint in little, these are little fruit cups. You get those little dull fruit cups. Don't throw them out. Save them. They're great for mixing paint. So I've mixed the paint with a little bit of water. I've got my little water bottle here because you want it to be thin. So we've done that. I've got my, all my colors here. This cup even came from the dollar store. I've got this styrofoam cup here, which you can see still has paint in it from the other painting we did. Actually, it was the glass tray that we did the other day. So I'm just going to use the same cup. Again, you want your paint to be a little thinner. You don't, don't pour it right out of the bottle. It, you can pour it right out of the bottle into the container, but don't then put it on your painting because it'll be too thick. Add a little bit of water, or if you have glue, right, uh, you could use glue also, regular, I can't talk today, friends, regular white glue from the dollar store works great as an additive to your paint. That's just, just a little bit and mix it in. Okay, so we're going to start with, what color should we start with? I'm going to start with my orange, I think, or that yellow, that deep yellow, and I'm going to pour a little bit in. Now, there is, like I said, there is paint in here from the glass tray that I did the other day. I think I'm going to do light, dark, light, dark. So we're going to do our purple, and I know you can't see me pouring it in here, but Trust me. Oh, and we have to have some blue here, guys, too, which is the blue is from the dollar store also. Got to get all my paints together here. So we did the, we did the orange, the yellow, or I said the orange, the purple. Now we'll do some yellow. Get that in there. And that's okay if it drips on your project because you're going to be covering up anyway. And now let's do our green. All right, put some green in there, that lime green. That's real pretty. Spring is coming, so I'm trying to stay with our spring colors. Enough of the dark. I'm ready for springtime and flowers 
And this little bit of brown is just going to add a little bit of contrast. All right, let's go back and add some more. So we'll start with our orange again and pour that in. And then we went with the purple. And you want to remember, friends, the not that it makes a huge difference, but I like to remember the sequence that I put everything in so that my colors kind of stay uniform. Now, if you're not familiar with a Rekka ring, what it is, is we're gonna, we're gonna ring pour tree ring pour onto the middle of the, the canvas. And then we're gonna take a stick. Now I had my stick here, here it is. Just a stick, you can use a kebab stick, you can use a toothpick, you can use the edge of a knife, and we're gonna go right through it. It's gonna look so cool. Where am I here with my, all right, green. Let's do, we did our yellow. Let's do, let's get the yellow in there. And yeah, it's going to look so cool. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments if you've ever done one. I myself have not. That's why I'm anxious to try it. We'll see how it comes out. Now I'm still not, you're going to ask me how much paint to use. I myself don't even know the quite the measurements yet. So I don't know if this is going to be enough paint. We might have to mix some more paint. Um, but we'll see and we'll just go with it. That's how we learn, right, friends? Like I said, we're here to learn together. All right, so we've mixed our paint. We're going to set that aside. Now what we're going to do so that our paint flows um, nicely I probably should have taken this off, friends, before I got on. All right, this one's on. Let me, bear with me, friends. I got to grab the other white because <laughs> that bottle doesn't want to open for me. All right. Okay. So we're just going to take some white and, and uh, we're going to condition our canvas. That's what they call it. And this is just regular house paint that I have put in my ketchup, huge ketchup jar. Then I have an offset spatula. Now, if you don't have one of these, and I'm just taking it and moving it. If you don't have one of these, that's fine. You can use your hands. You can use a knife that you don't care about. What who is this? Somebody keeps texting me. All right. You can use your fingers. Yeah, a knife that you don't. See, they text me and then I lose my train of thought here as to what I'm talking to you guys about. Oh my goodness. So we're just going to get, I happen to get these off Amazon. I, they came, I bought two of them. They came separately. Uh, one, you know, one, um, uh, but I wanted two cause I wanted one for when I bake. Also, I've always wanted them, but never had really the excuse to buy it until the gallery here. And I started painting and I'm like, well, that would be. So much easier. And you can paint with uh, these offset spatulas also. I have seen people do that. So now I'm going to take some of the paint off of here. And you want to make sure you get your sides. And this is a small, I should have gotten the bigger container, but we're just going to go with it again. It is what it is. And I'm going to... Let's get, our, let's get some more paint right here. Okay. Now I think we're cooking with some gas. Here we go. 
And you just want to make sure this will make sure that the can the paint moves freely on the canvas. You don't want to put, and I keep saying this, and if I'm repeating it and you've heard it before, please, you know, just bear with me. You don't want to put your paint on a dry canvas. It's not going to go anywhere. You want to help it out a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to change my gloves because those are, oh, all messy. And we'll put these messy ones on, but these are way better to do paintings with. These you got, I got at the dollar store also. These reusable kitchen gloves. Make sure that you get a pair of those because I'll tell you, they save you from washing your hands. Okay, we are all set. Now, what we're going to do is take our cup. And I think I'm, first of all, I'm going to move you guys back. Just try to move you guys back. Hopefully the camera won't fall down. It's on a pedestal here. Okay, there. There, now you can see a little bit better. And we're going to take our paint and slowly start going in a circle. Go in a circle, friends, like this. Slow, slow, slow. Take your time. Painting is, for me anyway, very relaxing. I want to escape everything that's going on if I've had a rough day or a very busy day and I'm stressed. Look at those colors. Oh, how pretty is this? I will come in here, come to the loft, and I will just paint, 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 paint. Now you notice we did not add any white to this. Usually my paintings have white in them or black. But I wanted to try one today without any black or white. And this is going to be perfect, I think. I think we've done just enough paint. So those little Dixie cups that I used, bathroom cups that I got from the dollar store. Oh, look at that, friends. Look how pretty. That is, wow, so nice. Um, we fill, I filled them up about, oh, maybe a quarter of the way. And then, and, and just added the water. So this is going to be perfect. Now what you're going to do is take your stick or your knife or your toothpick or your kebab stick, whatever you have. The back of a paintbrush will work. And you want to take it from the center here and ever so lightly come out. Now you're just pulling the paint. Now it's going to add some white, which is great because we didn't add any white. That's okay. Any direction you want, friends. That's why you want to condition, again, your canvas because see how smoothly... The paint is moving. I'm just, I am so in love with this. Okay. Now, the third step. And this is totally up to you. You can leave it. You can actually leave it like that if you, if you wanted it like that. But I'm going to tilt a little bit. I'm going to start tilting it a little bit. Trying not to lose... the center and if you if you see that you're losing your lines that you've made by all means go back with your stick all right I'm just gonna go ever so gently in a circle here Again, it's supposed to be a 
um, relaxing. Now, if you get to a point Just bring it back, maybe just a little bit over here. All right, and then I'm back to the center. You can see that I did not go all the way around. I did not go all the way to the edges. I only did two edges. Maybe we'll do three edges here. See what this looks like. Bring it all the way over and let it run off. Okay, and then back to the center. All right. Now. You can tell you can see that I left some negative space here, some white. Because now I'm gonna take my stick and let's help it out a little bit. I just I just so totally like the way that the paint has decided to move. Let the paint go where it wants to go. Don't force it. And that, my friends, is what's called wreck a ring Now, you saw how easy that was. And everything except for the house paint here and the canvas came from the dollar store. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. We're even getting some cells here. I don't know if you can see them. But see these little dots? Those are called cells. Now, I don't know if it was just the mixture of the house paint or, uh, or it, I don't have any metallics in here, so it just has to be the house paint. Because I didn't put any silicone in, there's no, metallics will give you cells, but I don't have any silicone. I don't have any Floetrol. There's nothing. I think I'm going to add a little. See, I overthink things. So if you know, <laughs> if you know me, you know I overthink things. And I'm thinking I want right here. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these paintings they will be available on my website and through the gallery here I will put the prices above and also know friends that anything that you see can be customized like the tray the glass tray that we did any painting here maybe you didn't like these specific colors let me try to pull it up here see how beautiful that is and I love that the white was pulled in so I'll put the link above, take a look, come over to the website, take a look, or again, you can purchase here from the gallery. Thanks friends for joining me and I hope that you learned and enjoyed learning how to do a record ring. Please try it and show me what you've done. I'd love to see it here. And again, you can do it all inexpensively. 99% of this stuff, again, came from the dollar store. Painting isn't meant to be expensive, guys. It's meant to be fun. So, you guys have yourself a great afternoon, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching.